Just as the title states, my Airstream has had front end separation not once, but twice. First time fixed at Jackson Center, and now after waiting a little over a year to get in over at Foley RV Center in Gulfport, I'm heading out today to get it fixed again, and hopefully the last time. Stick around. Well, you've heard about front end separation for the Airstreams. Well, for me, it's front end separation deja vu all over again. Back in late March, I was at Jackson Center and I had the front end separation maintenance done on my 2020 27 foot front bed. And since then, all I've done is driven home, which was about 1400 miles. And in that time frame, a rivet has popped out and the dimples have returned. This video is going to be about pursuing front end separation fix number two. This is the driver's side of the front compartment. And you can see right here that our rivet is already missing. This dimple is coming back right here. And when they took this apartment door off at Jackson Center, they used different types of rivets. I don't know why. These have like a hollow hole in the end. These must be the buck rivets. I don't know. Then on the curb side, there's a little bit of dimpling starting in there. There's one hollow rivet there, one there. So this is not my first rodeo when it comes to front end separation. I made a video on my first experience and I'll put a link to it right up here so you can see that. And I also did a video on the top four what I call kryptonite issues that Airstream has. And I'll put you a link right up there for that video. When I saw that I had lost that rivet and those stressed dimples started coming back and to me that clearly looked like front end separation again, the first thing I knew was I'm not going back to Jackson Center. That's a long drive to get up there. And, but you can hear all that in my other video. So I knew I wasn't going back to Jackson Center. I had called over here to Foley RV and they said that, yeah, we can uh, bring it in and look at it and give you an estimate on uh, getting it in. Because what I didn't tell you was that my warranty runs out in August. That's like 55 days from now. And Jackson Center had already told me that that front end separation repair they did is only warranted out to your normal Airstream warranty. Then if you have to bring it in after that, you have to pay for it. If you get this front end separation work done outside of warranty, you're looking at three or $4,000 that you'll have to pay to have that done. So I wanted to get back in before my warranty ran out. So right here today, we are heading to Gulfport, Mississippi and Foley RV, the service manager there, his name is John, a real nice guy. He's just done everything he can to accommodate us, returning my phone calls and getting me set up with his body shop there to have them available today to look at it. So they're going to look at it and we're either going to leave the trailer there for them to work on. I know they're backlogged as well. Or we may just take it back home and bring it back when they're ready to work on it. But at any rate, I want to get it documented. I want to get it on the books. I want to make sure that it's going to be covered by warranty. Foley RV, which is an Airstream dealer in Southern Mississippi, uses the Chevrolet dealer to do their body work. Now, I was a little bit hesitant of doing this, but I learned that it's the same owner. The Chevrolet dealer also owns the next door Airstream dealership. So we went there, checked in with Michelle, who runs the body shop, and I'm not sure if it's just strictly the 
Airstreams, but I know that she specializes in the Airstreams. We talked to her and we got some good news, we got some great news, and then we ended up living with reality. Before I give you the good news, stick around to the end of the video. I've got lessons learned. I want to share with you many of those, some that will help you down the road, probably. The good news was that, yes, indeed, Foley RV could do the work. They had a technician that was trained to do that type of work. He had had experience working on the front end separation situation. So I was very happy with that. But Michelle wasted no time in letting me know that she is also kind of backed up. She just has one technician qualified to do that type of work and his availability is sometimes limited. So she asked me to just work with her and she would get the work done. She knew it would take months. She didn't know how long it would take. More on that in just a moment. Now, a couple of days later, I got a text from Michelle. She was working with Jackson Center to get my front end separation covered under warranty. I just, at that point, had about 55 days, I think it was, but she wasn't gonna get the work done in 55 days. It was gonna take much longer than that to get me scheduled and get me in the shop. So Jackson Center agreed to cover the work under warranty, regardless of how long it took Michelle to get me into Foley RV Center to get that work done. So that's great news. That could save me, I said earlier three or 4,000, but it could be five or 6,000, just really depending on the situation. Long story short, it took months. It took almost a year to get me in there, but Michelle kept touching base with me, letting me know you know, she hadn't forgot about me and she was gonna get me in there to get that work done. So we went and dropped it off and the work began two days later. Dropped it off on a Friday, they started like on Monday or Tuesday working on that. I'd sent her a text and asked her to take me some photographs along the way. I would have loved to have been there to take some video, but I didn't have that opportunity. So on a couple of occasions, she, she did send me photographs of what was going on. Once when they just opened it up and showed me what was there, and then later when they really opened it up and showed me how they were progressing and getting into fixing the issue. Now, what I don't understand is that it almost appears like when they opened up the front end there, those angle or those L brackets were in place. Now, I had heard from other owners that sometimes Jackson Center would put those L brackets in there, but take a shortcut and not uh, secure them down the way they should. And I think that's what happened in my case because they didn't remove that entire front panel. Now, Foley RV did remove that front panel. I'm going to talk about that more towards the end. But they apparently did secure those brackets the way they were. They replaced that front panel. They went back in and replaced the whole framing for that front end storage and got that back in place. Caulked and sealed everything around there. And then when all of that was done, my Airstream was sent back over to the regular service center where they did a pressure test to check for leaks. I had already asked Foley RV that I wanted to have an inspection for my roof. So they did this pressure test to ensure that the integrity of their work was good and also for the rest of the unit. And they did find five or six leaks that uh, were there from the pressure test. So I'm very happy about that. So the reality of this is that it took almost a year from the time I first contacted the service facility to when they actually got my unit in there and got it repaired. It was all covered under warranty. That right there is the issue that I was worried about and wanted to make sure it was in there. So if you're sitting on the fence right now and you suspect you have front end separation, don't hesitate, get it checked out. Especially if you're coming up on the end of your warranty on your unit, because once you go past that warranty, you're gonna be paying for that out of your own pocket. Now, I've only put about 300 or so miles on my unit after the repair, and it looks perfect. You know, there's nothing there. It just looks the way it should look. So I'm very happy with that. So here's the invoice for the repair at the body shop for the front end separation. Let me just read some of the parts list here that was involved with that. It is a left hand brace, a right hand brace, various washers, screws, uh, tapping screws, more washers, nylon nuts, and then a 80 foot sheet dot 40 
times 51 times 307.80. So I think that's one sheet of aluminum that they use to go back in and replace this front panel here. So the repair is all done. The lessons learned are many, but I'm gonna share just a few with you without getting too long-winded here. But about Jackson Center, between me and you, I wasn't that impressed with Jackson Center on handling this front end separation. And the reason being is that they only had one technician in the service center that was doing the front end separation. They said that they had one other technician, but he was off site doing something down in Tennessee or North Carolina, something like that. And they were backed up, clearly. I had a reservation months in advance, but when I got there, they said, yeah, we're backed up. What they did with my unit is they sent it down the street to the body shop for Airstream. It's not even the regular service center, it's down the street. And I had already been told it's like a 12 hour job to do this. Well, they sent mine down the street to the body shop and it came back the same day and the technician had only charged four hours. This is not to say I wouldn't go back to Jackson Center one day. I may very well end up back there one day. Who knows? But there are other dealerships out there that can handle these large problems, these body shop issues, which are the ones that's the most expensive, the most difficult to repair. So keep that in mind. The other lesson learned is on the warranty. I don't want to beat that to death, but get your issues covered before your warranty goes out and try to get something in hand, a piece of paper, an email, a text, or something like that that shows that your issue will in fact be covered under warranty. Finding the right dealership to do your job, that can really be a challenge. And that's not just for these huge issues, but almost anything. And there's a couple of dealerships that I recommend, but for this particular video here, I'm going to say Foley RV Center in Gulfport, Mississippi did an excellent job. I'm really happy with those folks over there. Soup to nuts. The body shop was excellent. The service center was excellent. The customer service and keeping me informed of what was going on is very important. So I want to thank Foley RV for that, and I'll be back over there in the future. Well, I think everyone is going to probably agree that this whole issue with front-end separation is an engineering failure on behalf of Airstream. It never should have happened. Now, from what I'm told, they do put these L brackets or some type of reinforcement into the units while they're still on the production line to prevent some of these types of issues. Because I know from my years of quality, it's much cheaper to fix something before it happens than it is to come back and fix it after the fact. Once it goes into the hands of the customer, things start to get expensive. And you know who's going to pay for that, right? It's us. It's the customer that's going to pay for that in most cases. A couple little tidbits I want to add. What did this cost me to get this repaired? Well, I did the trip to Jackson Center, which is Florida to Jackson Center and back. That's the only reason I went up there was for that. So that's one expense. I made like six trips from Florida over to Foley RV Center in Mississippi. That's expensive, back and forth, buying the high-priced diesel that's out there today. So at this point, you know, you just have to kind of suck it up and do what you've got to do because you want to keep your airstream in tip-top condition because one day, I don't know when that one day is going to be, but we're all going to sell this airstream that we have today and we want to make sure it's in good shape to get top dollar. And for me, I don't want to pass something on to someone else that has issues. I just would not feel good about selling my Airstream knowing that it had a front-end separation issue that is not repaired. So that's one thing. Other thing I'd like to share is I used an AirTag in my Airstream while it was in maintenance. I could see where it would move in and out of maintenance, and when they finished with it at the body shop, I could see where it moved from the body shop back over to general maintenance. And I really like that. You know, you don't want to have to call over, ask the service manager every two or three days, where's it at? What are you doing to it? Well, I didn't know what they were doing to it, but at least I knew where it was. So I like the air tags. and <laughs> We've used those a lot in luggage and vehicles, and we haven't put them on the dogs yet, but who knows? Maybe that's going to happen. Well, to wrap up, I've had many, many requests for this video here. The people that saw my first video on Airstream, front end separation, wanted to know how it went the second time. So for all of you folks out there, I hope this answers your questions. If it doesn't, 
Leave me some questions and comments down below and I'll be glad to get back with you. If you learned something or enjoyed this video in any way, give it a thumbs up. Maybe you want to subscribe. There might be more stuff coming down the line, but it's not going to be front end separation. I'm pretty sure and confident that my problem is now fixed. I'll be making no more videos on front end separation. Till next time, I hope to see you down the road.